All right, this part of the video is going to show you how to insert extra lines so that way you could add other features. First, you're going to want to hit the next button until the EDCMD menu appears. Hit F5 for that. And then you'll see a whole bunch of different commands that you could use. So this first one will do the insert. So press enter. And then you could enter how many lines. So in this case, we'll do five and then press enter and you'll see that now there's five extra lines that were added in. Okay, for this part we're going to show you how to delete lines. So previously we inserted five lines, we're going to delete the same five lines. So you'll want to press F5 for the EDCMD menu again. Scroll down to delete, hit enter, and then you'll notice if you start scrolling down from the line that you had already had highlighted previously, it'll start highlighting everything below that as you scroll down. Once you scroll down to all the selected lines you want to delete, press F4 for yes, and all those lines will be deleted. All right, for this video, we're going to show you how to copy and paste lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these first two lines that we had already programmed and copy them and paste them down below so it'll repeat the same two lines or same two positions over and over again. So you'll press the EDCM menu again and then scroll down to copy, press enter, and then you'll want to hit F2 for copy and then scroll up to the two lines that you start scrolling up to select the lines that you want to copy and then press F2 for copy again. And now to paste those same lines go down below the line that you want to insert and then press F5 for paste. And then from there you'll see many other options here. The best one to use for just simple copy and paste is F4 for position. And now you have copied and pasted all the lines. Okay, for this video we're going to show you how to find certain parts of your program. What you'll need to do is press F5 for the EDCMD menu again. Scroll down to find, press enter. And then for this example we're going to try to find digital out 108. Before you do this, I should note that you have to have the cursor all the way at the top of your program in order to find the items below that line. So like I said, we're trying to find digital out 108, so we'll scroll down to the I slash O, press enter, press enter again for the digital out, and then enter 108 for 108, and press enter again. And you'll see that it'll take you straight to the very first digital out, 108 that is available. And then if that's not the one that you need to change, you'll you could press F4 for next and it'll move you down and highlight the next digital out 108. And when you're done editing that line or, or you reach the point where you wanted to start in your program, you could press F5 for exit. All right, in this one we're going to show you how to replace stuff. Uh, for this example, we'll, we're going to replace the speed at which the robot arm is going to move when it's in automatic mode. So you're going to again refer to the EDCMD menu, scroll down to replace, hit enter, and then you're going to want to scroll down to motion modify, replace speed, press enter again, and then scroll down to J and then again scroll down to speed value press per, press enter for percent and then press speed value again and then we'll say we want it to run at 50 percent and then you'll press enter alright and then you'll press F3 for yes which will just change to only that line or you can press F2 for all, which will change all of the exact points that are right there. And in this case, we'll just say yes. And now it's at 50% speed. Hmm?